Okay, everybody, welcome back to the DGS2605 channel. We are back with our MLB Power Pros 2008, 2008, excuse me, season mode with your Toronto Blue Jays. So, we just won our second game against the Chicago White Sox. Got two more games against them. Let's head right into it. Is Danks going to be on the mound or. Yep, looks like he'll be on the mound. Oz is out. Q3 will be next. Alrighty, sounds good. So, just take a look. Looks like. Great shields will be up, but I think we better just see how this game is played out there on the on the Roger Center field. So, okay, Blue Jays, let's play ball. Let's get into it. Let's take a look, quick look around the league. The Yankees lost, so that's a good sign. We we're the third game today, apparently. It's just a day game for us. So I, I actually went ahead, I adjusted my microphone settings a bit, I watched back some of my videos, and I'm noticing that uh, after certain words, I like, I breathe heavily, I don't know why. Well, I just exhale, then, uh, what was I going to say? Also, you'll, if I even get excited a little bit, it's going to, you know, do that popping thing when I pronounce certain words. So, I got it ways away, at least for now, I might adjust or I also put it down, but let's see what it is. Saw a bit of the intro there. Here's Danks on the mound, our lefty. All right, Danks, let's get into it. Joan Fagan's leading off. Just missed strike zone with that, ball one. Well, the game took its time there. Strike one with the slider. And you read that fastball. Lowell. Over to Berkman, and that's the first out. Jack Wilson. Now, I think one thing I might start doing after the series against the White Sox, we'll take a look at both teams and the standings and stats at the beginning of the series. Just because I went on my own time. You saw early there, uh, before I went to select to play the game, uh, I get a base hit to center field Jack Wilson. That I was hovering over the league settings or whatever, I just noticed when's a factor of three directly one way, can favor either way. It's going east, okay. So, yeah, because, uh, even, like, we are so far ahead in the stats, like, I don't even know how to say, like, how Berkman and Braun have, like, double home runs the next home run person. So many of our hitters, it's expected, like, the top ten hitters, like, an average RBI and home runs are, like, at least half of our guys. All right, well, that was the first inning. Allowed the only one hit. That's all good. I just realized three infielders lead off for us. That's kind of cool to see, actually. Now we're going to have to go and see who this Great Shields guy is. He's a lefty. 4.41 ERA. There's a slider, so he's got a fastball, a slider. Let's see the 0-1. Is that something different here? It's 1-1 one, one now. Cutter makes it one and two. Gets good connection on that. Right to Pedroia. First out. Ray Durham. 451, 626. Ball one. Strike one. This is seems he got pitches that will break off to uh, the right side. There, I think that was the cutter. Is that going for a base hit? There it is. Base hit Ray Durham. And stepping up. We got to think of a good... I'm going to look up after I record this game words that rhyme with Lance and find a nickname for him because there's Long Gone Brawn and right now we're working with like Final Chance Lance. I don't know. Or... No chance Lance, no chance in hell he's not getting out. We'll have to see what works. It's so the 1-1 one, one count from Shields now, 1-2. and two. Let it go by. Slider escaped the zone, 2-2, two and two, even count. And he gets himself a hit, that's the deep infield, but is that going to be a double play? Took a bit of running, but he's a slow runner. Double play. That's the end of the inning for the Blue Jays. 
And he got a decent hit on that. And Jack Wilson had to come out a decent ways a bit, but that, yep, that sidestep move. That got the out at first. Very nicely done. Can't argue with a bad, with a good play, excuse me. All right, looks like we're facing off against the five, six, seven batters in the inning. All right, Danks got through the first one just fine. Hanley Ramirez, 392 average. Strike one. Just show you how fast that guy is. Like, he motors. Anyways, first out. Here's Corey Hart. Strike one. The guy in shades is at the plate, Corey Hart. Yeah, he's in shades of white and black, and he gets himself a base hit just past the glove of Ray Durham, limited to a single. Double play is in effect now. Here's Pedroia. Strike one. Going to center field. Granderson is there. Second out of the inning. Keeping hard over at first. Here's Schneider. He's taken off. Pitches outside, throw from Laduca. Got him just in time, very nice. Yeah, base dealing is pretty ineffective in this game, I gotta say. Anyways, here the 4-5-6 part of the lineup, the Jays coming up. The Danks gave up one more hit, that's all good. Here's Rios, 4-56, yeah, 4-5-6, and he's 4-5-6 part of the lineup's up. And what is he, like 12 and something? 50-50 pitch goes for a strike. 12 and 53. This is the 30, what, yeah, 32nd game of the season. Strike two, okay. That's a little silly now. Both of those didn't go our way. All three, really, man? Okay. The last one, sure, but not the first two. Ryan Braun's hitting a great average of 420. 30 home runs, 63 RBIs. Cutter's outside. Yeah, Phil's moving back from, oh. Oh, Okay, it's a fair ball, but I saw that uh, the wind was going one way. This is a hit for the Jays. Yep, it's going northeast factor three now. And Lowell, yeah, that one's got to be out of there. Yep, absolutely, and it wasn't a solo shot this time for him. 19th home run on the season, went almost 450 feet. Beautiful swing. First pitch, too. So Braun got on, and Lowell brought him home. 2-0 Toronto, that's a good start. Here's Luke Scott, lefty-lefty matchup. He swings at the first pitch, and that's going for a base hit right by Shields. That's going to rule the hit, but maybe should have had that one. Here's Paulo Duca, 396 average, 417. That one got away from him, but... It's not past uh, the first baseman. Strike one, Paulo Duca. Read that one well. That's going into the gap. That's going to be at least a uh, single, of course. Runners are going to be at the corners. One out. Curtis Granderson is up. Just crank it. If you bring him home, you bring him home. We still have an out to play with. Strike one, 50-50 ball. Could have had, like, a much better situation if Rios didn't go down looking on three sus pitches. 0-2 now. Goes directly center. Is that going to be a double play? That was a double play. Wow. I was thinking, should I lay off that? But I went for it. The double play gets them out of the jam. We're 2 for 5. 2 run homer by Mike Lowell. Top of the third now. Facing off the 8-9-1 part of the lineup for the White Sox. Here's Danks again. One strikeout tonight. Strike one with the fastball. It's that one. Lined out to Durham, first out. Oh, oh, what was that, you guys? Good thing that didn't mean anything. Okay, the strike went to Al Michaels. Come on, Rich Aurelia. Ball one. We gotta think of nicknames for all the guys. Anyways, fouls off that changeup. Count is one, two. Again, fouled off. Load, like, I love how high up they'll jump, like Luduka should be doing that in catcher's gear he should be in the NBA if they ever make NBA Power Pros or Odyssey see a Paul Luduka cameo struck him out on the third changeup of the F-bat two outs, leading off to Sean Figgins now, top of the lineup he's 339, 3 and 20 so he doesn't seem to be a power hitter 
at least compared to uh, most of the other guys hitting for a fine average, not the greatest. Hits that one a short to Aurelia. To Berkman, that's the third out of the inning. Three up and three down for the White Sox. And we're at the top of our lineup, leading into the bottom of the third. Rich Aurelia went from his glove to his bat now. 432, 220. He's the leadoff guy. You can't expect RBIs like for the rest of the lineup. And that's a mistake. Not by Prince Fielder. He caught that liner for the first out. Check only 26 pitches. I know we have the 2-0 lead. Let's just let him get tired a bit. So we got two righty batters. Well, no, f what, four? Or five righty batters in a row. So just wait for the right pitch. Strike one with the changeup. Finding himself the zone. So I think he's got three pitches. Yep, slider, chain... No, wait. Four. Slider, cutter, changeup, uh, fastball. And a full count to Ray Durham. Here's the payoff pitch. It was the cutter. Did not foul it off. Stayed fair. Prince Fielder gets the second out of the inning by stepping on the bag. Berkman 0 for 1 with a double play. The wind's going southeast now, factor 3. So good thing we got that home run when it counted. Goes to second base on the first pitch. To Prince Fielder, that's the 3 up and 3 down for your Toronto Blue Jays. All right, well, that's a disappointing half of the third, but top of the fourth now. Danks is facing off against the 2-3-4 part of the lineup. Jack Wilson, one for one tonight. One homer, 14 RBIs. Got to hold that slider. Really across. He's a fast runner. Got him out. All right, Miguel Cabrera. 0 for one tonight. Went down swinging. Oh, 50-50 ball does not go our way. Also, a side note here, instead of having a lucky water bottle for the seventh thing to stretch, I have a lucky Jones root beer soda. Let's see how that works. Fouled off that uh, slider quite hardly. Got him swinging again for the second out of the inning. Prince Fielder, lefty-lefty matchup. This is the guy we wanted on two. Best power hitter in the lineup. Got him reaching on that, fouled it off. Let's go again. Oh, and two. There's the end of the inning, and it really had to Berkman again. Three up and three down for the White Sox. Bottom of the fourth coming up. Rios is leading off, so it's looking to be exactly the same as when we hit that two-run homer. Directly south, the win is a factor of three. You know, at this point, wait until you get into a something and two count, because that win is not going anywhere, it seems. Ball one. Ball two. Calling our way. Ball three. There it is, full count. Hits it forward. Is that going to? Nope. The wind certainly not helping matters. Pedroia catches it for a pop out. First out of the inning. It's long gone Braun. Got himself the single to get on base. First time around, strike one. The yeah, outfield's moving back, but I don't plan on swinging hard with him. Call did not go our way. A lot of calls are not going our way so far. One and two. That one way out of there. Even up the count at 2-2. Two, two. That one's not in. Oh, come on, man. Two different Rios and Braun. All right, there's a ball one to Mike Lowell. You know what? He's intimidated by you, I bet. So you can, uh, if you find something good, you can go ahead and swing at it. Two and one. Was in the zone, count as two and two. Now to Mike Lowell. Gets a hold of that one, lined out to the second baseman. I think he could have jumped for that either way. That's the end of the fourth, top of the fifth coming up. Danks is facing the 5 6 7 part of the lineup again. And the Ramirez. 0 for 1 tonight. Missed the strike zone, ball 1. Hard liner to Lowell. Across to Berkman. Well, hard grounder, excuse me. Anyways, the first out. The man in. The guy in shades, excuse me. Corey Hart. Swings out at the first pitch. Durham runs over. Takes the lunge. Gets him out. Second out of the inning. 
Pedroia. I'm surprised. I feel like he can hit for some power, but no home runs, only 11 RBIs. 344 average. Oh, as soon as I say it. Oh, hit hard off the end of the bat. Foul again. Got him swinging. Very nice. Danks is through the fifth, shutting them out. Very nice. Bottom of the fifth coming up for your Toronto Blue Jays. He's only allowed two hits. That, that's impressive. 7-8-9, part of the lineup. Here's Luke Scott. One for one tonight. Win is still a factor of three heading uh, south. Strike one. Ball one. One and two count. Off the plate, two and two. Gets a hold of that, and that's over Miguel Cabrera. That's going for Scott's second base hit of the night. Back-to-back -back singles. Loduca is one for one tonight. He's looking at a 400 average right now. Let's see if he can keep it going. Ball one. Ball two. Win is moved to southeast. Strike one. Hits that one hard. Is that over the head of Figgins? He ran it down. I'm surprised. There's the first out of the inning. Now Shields is facing Granderson. I'll tell you what, let the first one go by. Let it go by till he throws strike number one. As soon as I say it, I want you to bunt Scott ahead since you're a lefty. Gets it down. Cabrera running in hard. Throws it. He got pretty close, but there it is. Now for man on second, let's see if Aurelia can bring him around. It's two outs in the inning. Oh, game slowed down there. He apparently he he was throwing it so hard he was gonna throw it through my computer screen. And an 0-2 count now from Shields to Aurelia. Oh, I'm surprised. The Sunpire has been pretty uppity all day. Read that one. I probably should have let that one go by too, but it's to second. You get the out, no harm done there. Got one hit, nothing cooking with it. Top of the six coming up. Danks facing eight, nine, and one again. Schneider, Schneider, 365, four. He's one RBI away from the funny number, but we don't want that, do we? Ground set short. Aurelia again. First out. Jason Michaels is up. Strike one. Did I call him Al Michaels earlier too? I don't know why I keep... Al Michaels is a commentator. I'm pretty sure. Because I don't know where I'm getting that name from otherwise. Fair ball. Berkman steps on the bag. Second out. Third time through the lineup. Sean Figgins. 0 for 2 tonight. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm not... When I talk like I'll exhale through my nose. That's what the thing you've probably been hearing is. Anyways, Durham to Berkman, and there we go. End of the inning. We're through almost six. Two, three, and four part of the lineup coming up for the Jays. Not quite batting practice yet, boys. Let's see what we can do. So I'm going to see if I can limit that. Actually, I wonder, you know, just to watch back. Bottom of the six, it's 2 nothing for the Jays. I want to see how much movement my hand will affect the sound. I don't know how much. Anyways, 0-2. Got Durham swinging for the first out. Lance Berkman, you're 0 for 2 tonight. All one. Strike one. Ball two. That was a mistake, and Berkman drives that into the gap. He's got himself a base hit. He'll get no further than first, so there's a gimme single for Lance Berkman. Rios now 0 for 2, 450, 1253. Strike one. Let's check the pitch count. 73. Yep, he's getting up there already. Strike two. Ball one with the cutter. Oh, that's by him. Berkman's going to take second base. So the double play is no longer in effect unless a certain grounder happens. Full count to Alex Rios. You know what? Give it a drive. I don't care. Let it go. Rios is on base with a walk. 
Here's Braun, one for two tonight. And this is the kind of hitter you want up in this spot, and Lowell is right behind him. He's getting tired. 2-0. and oh. And he gave that a hard drive to center. Is that going to have enough with the wind? It's going. It. Oh, it just made it. That should have been a moonshot, but the wind made it a little more interesting. 5 nothing. Braun has officially made a batting practice off that swing. He came up clutch in Fenway when we needed it, and that just broke the game wide open and Shields is out of there. But he threw five and the thirds and only gave up two runs before that, so he didn't pitch half bad if you ask me, just one bad decision at the end. Here comes in our friend Borowski. ERA over almost seven. But he's feeling motivated as he fakes as he a righty face Mike Lowell. Quick 0-2 counts. We've got the fastball, the splitter. Oh, that slider was nasty, and there goes Lowell. Luke Scott, you're two for two. It's batting practice. You take the swings you want. Splitter for ball one. That should have been, I think, ball two, but it's 1-1 one, one count. Read the slider, and he got a good hit on that, but that's nowhere near hard enough. Michaels catches it for the third out of the inning. So a three-run homer from Braun broke this game wide open. Top of the seventh now. 2-3-4 part of the lineup. Once again, pitching a masterpiece so far. Here's John Danks. ERA is almost at three right now. Win is still southeast of factor three. And I think aside from Fielder and maybe Cabrera, no one in this lineup has Braun's kind of power. So let's not be too worried about the long ball for now. There's a huge fly out to Luke Scott for the first out. Miguel Cabrera. 0 for 2 tonight. Went down swinging twice. Strike 1 with the slider. Hit that slider right to Lance Berkman. Steps on the bag. Two outs. Here's Prince Fielder. A mistake. Swung right through it, thankfully. 0 1 count. 0 and 2. Oh, he got a hold of that 0 and 2. Is that going? Is that going? Yes, it is. It barely, just barely made it. There goes the shutout, but it's whatever. It's no longer batting practice, I'm afraid. It is now a 4-1 game. That's Fielder, only Fielder's fourth home run on the season. They're going to show the replay of that. He read that one just right. But 351. It got over the wall at like 330. Here's Hanley Ramirez. Just got to rub that one off. It's all good. See if he can get Ramirez out. Hit it off the skinny part of the bat. Berkman runs it down. Steps on the bag. There's the three outs. Seventh inning stretch. We're up by four. And for the first time, let's see how this works. Good luck. Bit of root beer. Jones makes great soda. I don't care what anyone says. That root beer is amazing. Holy moly, Art, we're playing a baseball game, so let's see if we can cushion this lead, maybe raise it. Danks is pitching a masterpiece because he's remembered that it's one, two, three strikes here out at the old ball game and out the Rogers Center. And he is only allowed three hits, and one of them was a solo shot. He should really be pitching like a two-hit shutout right now. Well, Duca is facing off against our friend Borowski here. Strike one with the slider. That slider against righties is nasty. I'm expecting it right here. 0-2 count. It's below the zone for ball one. Call went our way, as it should. Well, Duca read the splitter. He got himself a base hit again. Here's the second base hit of the night. Man on first. One out. Excuse me, no outs. Granderson. Nah, I won't let you drive it. You still need a hit. You're 0 for, 0 for 1. In the bottom of the seventh. Ball one. Strike one. He read that splitter too. And the shift will not matter. There's the base hit for Granderson. Men are on first and second. No outs. Rich Aurelia. It's a righty righty matchup, but let's see what you can do, Rich. Strike one with the splitter. I think that was a fair call. Ball one. There we go. Could be 0 2, could be 2 0. I'm happy with 1 1. Got to hold that slider. Will that fall for a base hit? No, it won't. That was a pretty difficult decision to make. He just got there. Ray Dern will take hits at a lefty now. 
Strike one. Ball one. Pitch by him. Yep, goes to the back. We got the sack fly available now. We're ahead in the count. Let this one go by Durham. He's in the zone. All good. Two and two. Hits that one. Not by Cabrera. He's getting the out at first, which is the wise decision to make. But we get the insurance run. It's batting practice again. All right, perfect guy up for it. Here's Lance Berkman. 1-0. One 1-1. And oh. one and one. That call was truly 50-50. Went our way 2-1. and one. Got a hold of that one. That's a bit of a liner. That's going out to the outfield. Berkman brings him home. 7-1. Game for the Jays. 0 for 2 tonight is Alex Rios. They're bringing in Bruni to face him. He's got a same area as Borowski, but he's not nearly as motivated. He'll probably be after that first pitch hit to Fielder. So, Jay's got another two runs across. Danks needs six more outs. We might bring in a guy, depending on like how it's going, might bring in a situational righty just for the last out. Excuse me. Anyways, 0-2 to Corey Hart now. Got him with that slider. That was a risky move, and it paid off. 0 for 2 tonight. Dustin Pedroia. Ball 1 just below the zone. Grounded to Aurelia. Cross to Berkman, and that's the second out. And here's Schneider. So depending, let's see if he can get Schneider out. Hits that first pitch. That's going for a base hit, so... The plan I had is out the window. Here's Michaels. He's got the same kind of... He's got Triple H hair, but Shawn Michaels' name. Lined out to Granderson. That could have been bad if not for the win. That's going to be it. Gave up the one extra hit. I don't care. But he's going to face off against 1, 2, and 3. So hopefully he doesn't get into a bit much of a jam. But I think he's earned himself a complete game. Anyways, Braun is up now. Takes a huge swing at that. Fouled it back. 0-1. 1-1. One one. Caught the zone. 1-2. One uh, another 50-50, man. Okay, whatever. We're up by 6. They need the out. Here's Lowell. 1-3 for three tonight. Got us. Our offense jump-started with that two-run shot. Wilson runs it down. Throws him out of first. There's the second out. All right, Luke Scott. So really, another 50-50 ball that did not go our way. Scott gets a hold of that one. It's foul. 0-2 count. Pitches inside, 1-2. and two. And that one is past Jack Wilson. That's going for a base. Is that Luke Scott's third base hit of the game? I believe it is. Here's Loduca. Hitting just, he's hitting 401. He is clinging onto that 400 mark for dear life right now. Strike one. Ball one. Ball two. That one's in the middle. Is that going to break through? Oh, he dove for it. Could not get it. And next up is Curtis Granderson. So we got. The opposite matchup we want. Let's see if Granderson can drive this one. And the win has been a factor of three all day. But let's see if he can get something done here. One and one. One and two. It's that one hard. Right to Cabrera. Tags him out. And that's the end of the inning. So it looks like we're going to end the day seven for 13. They're one for four. Danks has pitched an absolute masterpiece. We can, like... What an effort from our swing man, even if he allows more runs here. Figgins hits the first pitch to Durham, to Berkman. First out. He's two outs away. It's Jack Wilson. If he pitches to these next guys correctly, he doesn't have to face the man who hit a uh, home run off him again. Got him swinging. 0-2. Get him on here. Pop that one way high up. Durham's in the perfect spot for it. See the win affected that one? It should have been like dead center Granderson. 
Should have got it. I don't know, there's the south. There's the win. Cabrera cranks that one. And John Danks has thrown a complete game. Only one hit home run allowed. Nearly a shutout. And your Jays win 7-1. We beat them 7-0, I believe, in the first game of the series. Then we beat them 18-3. We're outscoring them what right now. But Rios, he had like, what, five RBIs in the game, I think. He Rios was hitting the cover off the bat. He did not do as well tonight, but... Thankfully, Braun and Lowell both stood up. So I want to think. 18, 7, and 7. That's 32. We've outscored them 32 to 4 in three games. And you could tell, like, it just kind of stopped because of the win. That thing should have been in Ottawa how hard he hit that. Top of the seventh. Yep, there's the solo shot for the White Sox. So they avoid being shut out, which for them, especially, like, Danks, he's our swing man. Theoretically, he should only go, like, six, seven innings. Because he also has to mix in some relief work if we need it. We did not need it tonight. Great game from Danks. Four hit, one run game. In a way, that's more impressive than like a nine hit shutout, you know? It was just a solo shot. And, yep. Two home runs from us. A couple insurance runs. Now won us the game. Very good. Let's take a look at the stat line for the game. Danks is 4-0 on the season. Shields is 4-1. But he was pitching just fine until he gave up that shot by Braun. Braun got 31, Lowell got 19, Fielder got 4. Take a look at our stat line. Aurelia went hitless, Rios got a walk but still went hitless. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'd say, you know what, all things considered, Lowell's probably... Well, actually, no, Braun, I'd say. Yeah, because Braun got two hits, Lowell only got one. There you go, one, one, three, and two. And now that home run race is breaking up again. And Lowell's catching up to 20 now. Because, let's see. Yeah, it's Braun, Berkman, and then Lowell is next in line. And he has, he's not even within 10. Wasn't a solo shot. Oh, the game slowed down here for some reason. Dank 74 pitches. ERA is at, pretty much at 3 now, 3.03. There you go. Let's take a look at that. Oh, there we go, alrighty. So, that's gonna go ahead. Well, we'll take a look around the league. That'll be it for the video. Red Sox beat the Rays. And Orioles lost, great. 19 to one at Oakland. What the hell's going on over there? For once, our game isn't really the slugfest. Even then, Padres Marlins, 11-4. 9-1 Tigers Twins. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this game here, we got one. Oh, the weekly MVPs have been announced, everybody. Bur oh, look at that. Both of them are from us. There are guys. Rios. You know what? Rios, because he had, like, what? How many RBIs in the first two games against the White Sox? Unless, oh, no, May 4th. I don't know what today is. Oh, no, yeah, May 5th. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, Berkman, 4-11. and Rios, 6 one 9 Rey Mysterio. National League, two former Yankees. Robinson Cano for the D-backs. And Derek Jeter bat perfectly 500. For the Cincinnati Reds. Imagine that timeline. Derek Jeter in Cincinnati. He would he would probably not even be in the Hall of Fame, let's be real. But anyways, we're gonna have to end that video there. We got one more game against the White Sox. I think I might have to might have to go get the broom. I feel a sweep happening, so I'll see you then for the last game against Chicago.